Uh, between 1969 and 1999, roughly 3,500 people have died as a result of political violence in Northern Ireland. The conflict, often referred to as the Troubles, has its origins in the 1921 divisions of Ireland and has reflected a struggle between different national, cultural and religious identities. Much discussion has been made in the Republic about our own history as we reached the 100th anniversary of the death of Michael Collins, a man who hailed from West Cork and who su successfully signed the treaty uh, for this country, a country, I may add, which was close to the edge at that time. I have spent the last few months making every effort possible to get a standalone statue to General Michael Collins in our capital, the first of its type, and to be honest, instead of doors swinging open, every obstacle possible has been put before the group uh, in an effort to stifle uh, progress. We should honour our past heroes with pride, those who did so much, but lives were cut short before they could finish their good work. I know um, that the honour will be given this year uh, on August the 21st to Michael Collins at Bain Le Blanc, as will celebrations in Newcastle uh, the same evening as the Newcastle Community Group make an effort to get into Guinness Book of Records with the most Michael Collinses to congregate at any one time. And well done to all there. But the issue here, uh, we go back to in 1998, the UK and Irish government and key Northern Ireland uh, political parties reached a negotiated political settlement resulting uh, in the Good Friday Agreement, uh, recognised that a change in Northern Ireland constitutional status as part of the UK can come about only with the consent of the majority of people in Northern Ireland, as well with the consent of the majority in Ireland. The agreement called for dev uh, a devolved government the transfer of specified powers from London to Belfast, with a Northern Ireland Assembly ex executive in which unions and national parties would share power.